If you've watched my previous video, you'll know that home ownership rates amongst black people in the UK are much lower than most, if not all, other ethnic groups. And I explained why I think that is a significant issue. One of the solutions to this problem, in my opinion, is for more of us to consider moving out of London. Why? Well, the first and most obvious point is this. How much does it cost to buy a property in London? My parents grew, I grew up in Leighton, Leightonstone in East London, and, and the house that, my, that I grew up in, my parents bought it for, I think, £60,000 in the mid-1980s. It's now 10 times that amount, at least. It's probably like more like three quarters of a million pounds, £750,000. That means if you want to buy that property, you're going to need to come up with a minimum of a 10% deposit, maybe even more, depending on what kind of mortgage you're looking to, you know, to get. So £75,000. Who has £75,000 cash? Not many people and certainly not many black people, unfortunately, because income, average income amongst black people is also lower than a lot of other ethnic groups. That's a topic I'll discuss in a, in a separate video. If you move out of London, particularly if you start to move out of, you know, the immediate commuter belt is going to be expensive as well. So there's a lot of towns around, small villages and towns around London, which are going to be too expensive also. But move a little bit further afield and you're looking at house, house prices that maybe are £200,000, £300,000, £400,000. Still a whole heap of money when you consider some of them houses were probably, probably worth half that 10 years ago, 15 years ago. That's, this is just a housing bubble that we're just in, the perma bubble that we're in. But it's a lot more feasible and realistic for somebody... A, a, an individual and a, particularly for a couple to come up with say £30,000 for a deposit than to come up with £75,000 for a deposit. So that's the most obvious first point is that it's cheaper outside of London. Now a second point relates to the quality of life and again I grew up in London. That's that's where I grew up. I spent all of my childhood there apart from the first few years when I was because I was born in Kenya all of them my childhood there, pretty much all of my young adulthood in London. And it's a great place to be, of course. However, when you're considering buying a house, usually you're considering it because you want to start a family or you have started a family. And let's keep it real. Let's, let's keep it real. Where do most black people live in London? What kinds of places do we live in? Do we live in Chigwell? No. Do we live in leafy suburbs generally? No. We tend to live in places in the inner city areas of London. Places like Brent, Wolf and Forest, Southwark, Lambeth, Newham, Tower Hamlets, perhaps. I grew up in Leighton, as I said, and when I was growing up, knife crime wasn't really a thing and gangs weren't really that much of a thing. There were there were some rude boys as we called them and you know but road men as as we call they're called nowadays, but it wasn't so much of a thing. I moved away from London for a while, went to uni in Birmingham, you know, lived in various different other parts of London as well. And me and my girlfriend at the time, we moved back to London to rent for a year. And honestly, we lived on Leighton High Road. It was like a, a, a flat above a shop on Leighton High Road. So, you know, wow, very front line. And, I, and I'm not kidding you, probably once a month, armed police or, you know, squad cars and all sorts would swoop on that area looking for some kind of crime related thing. Very often, very frequently, you'd hear about some you, another you dead, another you stabbed, another you shot, another incident, this, that and the other. And you, we have to be realistic, particularly as parents, as black parents. This whole crime gang culture, this whole roadman culture is very pervasive and you might have the best of intentions that, oh yeah, I'm going to raise my children in Peckham and no, they're not going to get in the road life, this, that and the other. The fact of the matter is there's a very, very strong chance that they will be caught up in it one way or the other. Particularly, and again, I'm just going to be real, particularly when you consider that three quarters of our people, of our children, black children, are being raised predominantly by, a, by one parent, a lone parent. It's hard work for a parent, even for two parents, it's very hard work parenting and making sure, you know, you've got to have eyes in the back of your head and, you know, got, you've got to keep, keep on top of so many different things. As a single parent, it's going to be almost impossible to, 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 to have that level of oversight over your, ch your children's lives. And unfortunately, that leaves them at the mercy of the road, of the street. 
I'm not saying that there's no crime, of course, in outside of London. There's plenty of crime outside of London. Generally speaking, the rates of criminality, of violence, and this, that stuff, and this, that, and the other are much lower in almost any smaller town that you can think of outside of London. So quality of life in that sense, but also quality of life in, in another sense, which is really important. And this is something that really came home to me during the, the lockdown era. And I remember watching videos and seeing, you know, seeing things online of how people who lived in places like Leighton and Hackney and Brixton and so on, they had nowhere to go. They had no green spaces that have no open spaces. They were cooped up indoors in these flats, in these tower blocks, in these in these estates. And I know how hard it was for me to keep my sanity, particularly in the early part of the, 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 the whole lockdown era. But the, one of the things that got me through it and saved me and has continued to save me to this day is the fact that I have a garden. Is the fact that we have lots of green spaces just outside our, you know, very close to our house. It's the fact that you have clean air. It's the fact, for example, that there is a night sky that you can look up to and see the night sky. You can see stars. You can see the constellations, you know, fresh air, quietness as well. All of these natural beautiful elements of the of, of the natural environment you miss out when you grow up in inner city london because it's all clogged up claustrophobic you're living cheek and jowl next to other people and that that has an impact on your on your well-being you know you can look at things like asthma for example asthma rates i believe are, are, are higher amongst black and other um, so-called minority ethnic groups. Why? Because more of them live in places like London. More of them live on next to busy high roads where they're breathing in all of this CO2, which is affecting their, their health, which is affecting their lung health. So that's another reason. The quality of life in London pales. And you only that's something that you can only really understand and appreciate once you actually do move out of London and when you do actually move out to a smaller town a, you know with, that's got a slower pace of life yeah there's less to do in some of these smaller places and I'll, I'll do a separate video talking about some of the pro the, the cons of of living outside of London particularly as a black person and one of the most obvious cons is that there's just less to do around here but I'd kind of flip that on, on, I'd flip that round and say, well, particularly if you're a parent or you wanted to become a parent, how important is that to your children's well-being? How important is it that you've got clubs and bars within 15, 20 minutes, as opposed to your children have an open space to run around and get daylight on their skin and fresh air and so forth? It's just not important. You have to sacrifice. You, I personally think that more of our people need to sacrifice our own individual personal needs to be you know, be able to go out and go to this shop and that shop and what whatnot. I think more of us need to sacrifice our own individual needs as parents. We've had our lives, we've lived, you know, and put more of an emphasis on our children's well-being and our children's quality of life. So these are some of the reasons why I think more black people need to move out of London. I'll discuss this further in, in, in future videos, of course. But I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll be interested to hear your insights and your thoughts on this. Let me know in the comments. Make sure you like as well and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content and help the YouTube algorithm to push out this kind of content and these kind of discussions. All right. Take care and we'll speak soon.